reports are integrated, they're, they're built in, they're automatic. As I'm making those changes in sizes and adding things and deleting things, the reports dynamically reflect those changes. I think I dragged that up. What you do is you have the where the where the boards belong. In this case, uh, the different assemblies. And you see here, even here with this numbering system, it's just you know it's crazy. But if had I call that left front, uh, left center, right, we would know what that is. Same thing with the doors. Let's get the part name, the sizes, and the uh, material type and material name. Now, these are actual cut sizes. So when I put the tenons on the rails of that door, uh, a quarter inch on either side, so the cut width of that rail in this report would reflect an extra half inch to make up for the tenons. Next report, go with, with shop drawings. So I look at tools or reports, shop drawing new, and the same idea behind being at the right level of the structure is, is it holds in drawings as well. Right now, I'm in the project level. You can see the floor in the project. The only thing I can dimension are dimensions of assemblies. I can't go in, for example, and give you the dimension of a door within the assembly because we're not at that, that assembly level. So there are two tools, the line tool, which is this. And then there's a point tool. Point tool is that. So if I wanted to know the distance between, I don't know, some crazy thing from here to there, I do that with the point tool. You save them uh, and then print them. Each drawing would come out on, on, a, on a page off your printer and you'd be ready to take that to the shop. Um, when you get back from the shop drawing, you're going to be in the view that you use in the shop drawing. So if you want to go back to 3D, just click perspective and then 3D. Finally, let's see, reports the Parts list report is available to pro uh, sketch list users. And what it does is it gives you access to the database, any, any element of the database, any, anything. And you can put it into a report. So you can select what, what you want to see, the part name. Um, you might want to know its location, bottom left front. Uh, Whatever. There, like that. And you have more flexibility in terms of being able to, um, to sort these. So I could actually sort by, by name, part name. Uh, I can filter the specific material types. So if you're only working on half inch plywood one day, you could do a filter that says just, uh, Thickness equals one half. That will only show you the half inch plywood. Then you generate the report and then print it. Looks only, well, it looks a lot like the first one because with the exception of you, here you see the location. And I've seen, I've seen very, uh, inventive ways that people use that report. Uh, for example, in the notes, what they would do is, you know, they'd have a note on a, on a particular board saying, for heaven's sake, don't let Henry cut this piece. And then you sort them by, by name and you see what pieces Henry shouldn't be cutting. I don't know, different work days, different, you could say, do this on that particular saw or this on that saw, things like that. Um, And, and that's, that's about it. Um, materials, you can add any material you want. 
I wanted to add a new material. So I add a new material, I could call this test, uh -oh. signify what, what types I want. And this is really important. Uh, so the width would be say 48, length would be, length would be 96, thickness would be three quarters. You don't have to pay too much attention to the scale. The grain direction, this is important and then the texture. And as you see here, you can even add uh, images, photographs or files, uh, image, graphics image files of things you want, to, you want to include. 